My name is Mutiev. I am 10 years old and I come from Port au Prince, Haiti. I live with my mom. During the earthquake, it is true that the earth was shaking. I was really scared. And I was really thinking a lot about my mom. I was afraid of never seeing my mom again. The young people here, they surely have been affected. The way people live down there, everything has changed since the earthquake. The life is, uh, I'm afraid to say, miserable. New York City's YMCA is part of an extraordinary world movement where we feel a sense of strong obligation and responsibility to help where help is needed. We've launched a program, Cabins of Hope, which brings young children from the Haiti YMCA to experience summer camp at our camp in upstate New York. When I heard I was coming, I was really happy. When I used to go to the Haiti Y, my friends who were coming, we used to sit in the back and talk together to figure out what we would do when we came here and how we would have fun the way we couldn't have fun in Haiti. As soon as you look at them, they want to play, they want to sing. They're learning all these new activities. For all of them, it's paradise, basically. Some of them might not have even swam in a lake before. Um, they could be going on the boat. And just seeing the reaction and seeing them having fun is really good. Crocodiles. I love to go swimming. I love to do arts and crafts. Has anybody been to arts and crafts? Yes. What did you make? Did you make something? Yeah. Oh, look at that. You made a bracelet. We have some Haitian workers here. They are able to speak Creole and French with the children. As the weeks have gone on, children from Haiti seem to have been making friends and big smiles on their faces. One girl in particular that I've been working with, she was really scared to go in and see the animals to start with. And now she's like, she loves the animals. She like tries to braid the donkey's hair and it's so good just to see the smile on their face. Let me see ya. When I'm here in this YMCA, they give me food three times a day. When I'm in Haiti, I don't eat three times a day. I have a lot of friends. I learn how to do a lot of new things and also discipline. When they say no, you have to listen. You have to respect every rule and not fight. <laughs> you want to hold it? <laughs> It's a wonderful opportunity for them to get out of the stress and the difficulties they face in day-to-day -day life, be in an environment of fun and happiness and joyful as children should be, and meet some great kids along the way. It makes me really happy. I meet new friends and do a lot of activities. I'm happy because I met John, Gabriel, and Louis. I got really close to a little girl, but she left, and we were really good friends. The campers that are here from Haiti and other parts of the world, they're going to leave with friendships that are important to them, a real sense of that there is hope, 
and there is joy that they may not be facing in their day-to-day -day lives back home, they're going to leave different people. We are looking to introduce this cause, this issue, the importance of these children's lives to people who believe as we do, that can make a difference. Through their support, they're helping young people whose lives will be changed.